Sanketa, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I am going to show you how to troubleshoot for row 3 missing authentication token error from Amazon API Gateway REST API. Let's get started. API Gateway endpoint return missing authentication token error for two reasons. The API request is made to a method or a resource that doesn't exist. The API request isn't signed when IAM authentication is turned on. Let's see how to troubleshoot the issue. You will see a three-step validation to identify and resolve a 403 missing authentication token error. These steps are confirm that there is a method and resource configured in the API. You must deploy the API for the new changes to take effect. Confirm that the API request is signed if the API method has AWS Identity and Access Management Authentication enabled. Confirm that you are sending the request to the right invoke URL and HTTP method. After logging into AWS Management Console, navigate to API Gateway Console. Choose Create API, scroll down, find REST API and then choose Build. Enter a name for your API and then choose Create API and then choose Create Resource. Enter a resource name, for example, Music, and then choose Create Resource. Select the resource, Music, and then choose Actions. From the drop-down list, choose Create Method. Select Get HTTP Method from the drop-down list, and then choose the tick beside it to save your choice. For integration, Choose a simple Lambda function that's already created. Choose Save and then choose OK to give API Gateway permission to invoke the Lambda function. Deploy the API by choosing Actions and then choosing Deploy API. For this demonstration, I'll create a new stage, Dev. Go to Stages and choose Dev to see the Invoke URL for the API. Now let's test the API. Open Postman and paste the Invoke URL in a new tab. Make sure that Get is selected from the drop-down list and then test it. You see the 200 OK status as a result. Now let's test a scenario. Let's make a POST request to invoke the URL. Change the HTTP method from GET to POST. Test the API again and let's see what happens. Notice that you receive a 403 missing authentication token error. The API returned missing authentication token error because POST method doesn't exist under slash music resource. Changing the HTTP method back to GET returns a successful response. Now let's test another scenario. Let's append a new resource path slash song to the invoke URL and conduct the test. Once again, notice the missing authentication token error. This is because slash song resource does not exist under slash music. Change the resource path back to slash music and the API response with 200 OK status. We examined two scenarios where a non existing method and resource returns 403 missing authentication token error. The last scenario to explore is to add IAM authentication to slash music resource. Go to API Gateway Console and choose Get Method under slash music. Choose Method Request. To configure IAM authorization, choose the edit icon, the little pen, beside authorization and then select AWS IAM from the drop-down list. Save by selecting the tick button. Deploy the API by selecting Deploy API from Actions menu. Test the API in Postman again. Notice the missing authentication token error. To fix the error, go to Authorization tab. For type, choose AWS Signature.
for access key and secret key enter the access key id and secret key of the iam user that has execute api invoke permission in postman hit send again to test the api the error no longer appears so now you know how to troubleshoot a 403 missing authentication error from api gateway thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at aws <laughs>